welcome back guys so in this video i'm going to show you how you can remove chrome os flex and go back to windows but before proceeding make sure in the bios option you have your secure boot disabled so considering that let's get started now open the chrome browser and we are going to use the chrome extension you may all be familiar with it the chromebook recovery utility so if you have not already downloaded it go to the extension the chrome web store and uh, search for the chromebook recovery and you will see this just add it to your chrome browser now we need to download the linux mint so i'm going to download the latest version the xfce edition so download it from the server near your, your location and you can see it is downloading it is only 2 gb iso file so now we need to rename the iso file so cl right click and then select rename and we need to add dot bin after the dot iso so the the extension recognizes it so now click on the gear icon and use local image then select your iso image and we need to insert a pen drive so this is a 2 gb so minimum 4 gb or 8 gb could work and then start the process and it's going to take a lot of time so leave it at that and then you will see it has finished installing it now reboot your device into boot device options and uh, you will see your usb device so we have two devices just select the first one and after a while you will see this uh, option so select the first one to install it and we will be in the home screen and click on the disk icon to start the installer and here we need to select our language your keyboard layout and uh, we do not need to like connect it to a wi-fi so skip it you can tick this option if you want to play mkv or various media files in the linux mint then press next and here we will erase and install it so leave it as it is and press next and it's giving us a warning that it is going to delete everything on the hard drive so we will continue So select your time zone and we need to set a username and password and then the installation will begin and this is going to take some time as all the installation does. Now we can restart our device. It is asking us to remove the USB and then press the enter key and finally we will have the Linux Mint installed. So I will install uh, the screen recorder and we will continue later. So connect your system to the internet and we will open the browser and we will download the Windows 11 ISO. So according to your need you can download the Windows 11 from this link or you can choose to download Windows 10 as well. Now to create the bootable USB we will download a tool. So visit it, this website the github and uh, we are going to follow the instructions. So we need to copy this command and in the home screen just right click and open terminal then paste the command and hit enter and enter your password 
so it's going to take longer but i have already done it so it uh, finished up faster and then now we need to finally install it so that was the dependencies now we need to install the actual uh, the tool so paste this command and finally we have installed the uh, the tool that we are going to use so i have already downloaded the iso the both one i'm going to use the windows 11 but both of the isos are here i also tried the ventoy and belina hr both are very famous uh, usb creating tool but they did not work out so that's why i chose this uh, third option now search for woe wo and you will see this wo usb so enter your password and we have the interface opened up so now we need to select the iso image so go to other location and in the computer go to home and then you will see your username and under downloads i have the iso file so i'm going to choose the windows 11 and in the target by default it may already chose the uh, the usb drive i've connected so if it's not showing you can refresh then we will continue with the process so for linux this is the only option to create the windows uh, bootable usb because no other tool can like uh, they all have some kind of issues so this process will take a long time and it is going to copy the iso and finally it will be done and uh, in the file manager you can see it has created the usb you can see two usb and they all have the uh, all the set of files and everything so just boot back again to the boot menu and select your usb and this time we will see no errors and uh, windows 11 is going to be ready to be installed and select our language and install now and many had issues with the driver issues as well so you can see no driver issues we can go ahead and accept the terms and conditions and here choose install and here going with the default i will suggest you to press shift plus f10 and open the terminal and then type disk part and then type list disk and you will see your hard drive then select the disk and then type clean to completely format the disk And then we can exit the disk part and then you can refresh and we will have one unallocated, unallocated space so now we can create partition for to install our windows so press new and I'm going to install like create a 300 GB partition so I'm going to type in 300,000 MB so hit on apply and it will create the partition and similarly for the left the leftover size uh, we can create the whatever is left we can just apply it and it will be also created into a partition then we will select the 300 GB one and can proceed with the installation and finally the installation will start and as always this is going to take a lot of time but finally you will have the setup screen and you can set up it set it up as normal so yes this is how you can get rid of chrome os flex and go back to windows 10 or 11 uh, i hope this time you will face no error and it will work out smoothly 
so i hope you guys like this video and hit the like button and subscribe and i'm going to see you in the next one